It's time for some Banjo and Tui. B well, Banjo Tui. I guess Banjo and Tui is somewhat correct. Correct. I actually used to call the game Banjo and Tui. I don't know why. I just remember doing that a long time ago. Uh, let, me, let me actually make sure that everything is fine. Hello, racing fan. Uh, let me do that. Okay. So I am done with everything on the thing. I didn't. I did not mean for that to come out the way that it did. But anyway, so I did a test, as you can see, 30 minutes. I don't know what I was doing, but stuff. So I am going to be playing Banjo Tooie, and sorry if this is not going to be that long of a stream. I'm actually going to do stuff in about an hour and a half or maybe two hours. So I got a little bit of time to actually stream. So let's just go on with the game, I guess. If you know how, what Banjo Tooie is, it's basically the sequel to Banjo Kazooie, which is arguably this is arguably the better of the two. It is for me. I really do like this one way more than Banjo Kazooie. A lot of people don't, but uh, I don't know. It, it is what it is. You're getting a capture card. Nice. Yeah, capture cards are good. They allow you to do stuff that you otherwise couldn't do. So let's actually get on with this. So, uh, how's the volume? Like, is the volume okay? It should be. So, we got an introduction. And this introduction is actually pretty long. I was debating on whether or not to skip it. Because this intro is literally, like, ten minutes long. I'm not kidding. It's just that long. So, two years have passed since Gruntilda, the witch, was defeated by Burger King, BK. Uh, this is gonna be so fun. After falling from her tower, she was buried underground for two years, and she's not dead. Well, I mean, I, actually, she kind of is dead. You'll see in a bit. You could skip. Yeah, I don't know. You know, it'd be weird. Kind of should skip it. But we need to see the story, right? Well, not really, but it's like... Eh. Whoa. A lot of gibberish. Should I skip it? I kind of want to, but I want to get to, like, Banjo's house first. Just to see what the gang is up to, you know? Played this game so many times before. Dude, me too, same. So, right off the bat, you can actually tell that Mumbo has a huge makeover. He looks so much better in this game. Only two people are watching. Well, I, I just started the stream, so there's not going to be a lot of people, at least not now. It also might not be a good time for people to watch this. Or, you know, I might not be streaming at a good time, but oh well. Okay, so this is enough of the intro, I guess. Let's, uh, let's just skip that. <laughs> so, I had emulation glitches, so I fixed those, and here we have Bottles. He's dead. That's kind of one of the reasons why I wanted to let the intro play out. Because you got to see how Bottles died. Because we all want to see how moles die, right? Our best friend. His eyes are still open. That's kind of creepy. Hurry up and get after the witch. Okay, whatever you say. So, uh, this is something for later. Fish. Fishy man. So, uh, you, you can actually save this fish once you get the bill drill. Which is basically the same thing as a ground pound, but except Kazooie, like, drills, I guess, and it's like, it breaks rocks. I mean, I guess that's cool. I don't know why this can't break rocks, but, oh well. Oof. Yes, Bottles is dead. Oh, look, it's Klungo. I don't know why there's, like, a cutscene for this, but there is. Her, her, stupid bear and bird coming. Me wait for them in here. Nice. I love you. Me too. I love you too. Blur. Blur. That's you. Which ability would you like to know more about? How about none? Because first of all, you're dead. Okay, so this is Spiral Mountain. Everything's dead. And there's monsters now. It's so depressing. Really. So, the main thing that I like about this game over the other one is this. Now, in Kazooie, you can only get one egg at a time. This game is a lot different. So, if you get this, it literally gives you 20 eggs. 
it's it's a uh, the amount of eggs you get is different per egg type you'll see that later but look at this so many eggs we've already gotten 60 eggs just from that and there was a guy there was a mole his name was jam jars you saw for like a second but oh well who cares right so all the moves that you had in the first game are in this game so that's uh pretty cool there's feathers over there Feathers especially are cool, because normally in the other game, like, I, I would have a hard time getting feathers. And in this one, you just, it's the same thing, you get 20 feathers each. So, yeah, there goes having to find 40 feathers individually for that, right? You're the best. Yes. No, you're the best. So, in this game, they made these pads a lot smaller, as you can see. I think I mentioned that in the other game. Here's a new collectible. It's, uh, this. Cheeto page. I think this also gives you cheats. In the... Similar to the sandcastle floor, it's like cheats in the temple area. But in this game, you gotta find... Like, in this game, instead of finding Cheeto, you gotta find pages and give it to him. But yeah, I'm gonna have a lot of fun playing this game. A lot more fun than Banjo-Kazooie, actually, because, like I said, I just like this game a lot more than Kazooie. For so many reasons. The, you know, there's more moves, there's, a, uh, uh, you know, you can actually play as Banjo and Kazooie separately, like, during, uh, well, not during anything, but once you actually get the ability to do that. You can only do that on certain pads, though, so it's not like you can do it whenever you want, but it's still cool that you can actually do that. You can also play as Mumbo in this game, which is pretty cool. Cheeto page for cheats, yes. It's Klongo. It's our first boss, guys. It's not like that Banjo-Kazooie had bosses, except for the one boss in Rusty Bucket Bay and Grunty. But, eh. I like Banjo-Kazooie. But this game is better -er. I also played this game first, which is probably why, I don't know. But Banjo-Kazooie is like, you know, if not for Rusty Bucket Bay, I think Rusty Bucket Bay actually ruins Banjo-Kazooie for me. Just a little bit. So we got clones. So, uh, fun fact, Klungo, uh, Klungo can actually choose from about three potions, I believe. And whichever one he picks is random. We got the shield one. When I was actually testing, it was the green one. So you fight Klungo three times in the game. Basically the same as this. And he'll drink a different potion each time, so... It's cool, I guess. Oh, oops. Thought that was the one that stopped moving. Or started moving last. Apparently I lost track. So the one that's real is the one that's, uh... The one that moves last. So he has three hits. I believe it's always three hits. And then he just... He commits to die, pretty much. And some of these are easier than others, but, uh... Okay, there you are. Go over there, I see you! Wait, what? How? <laughs> That's weird. I, I could have sworn that was the one that stopped mo that started moving last. Are my eyes deceiving me? Okay, I'm looking. Yeah, I see it. It's either this one or the one behind me. I think they got... Yeah, they got m mixed up. Dang it. I don't know what's going on. Usually, I just get this, like, one, two, three. It's always when you start recording or streaming. It's just weird. They're, like, mixing up, and it's confusing me. Yeah, that one. Okay. Jeez. Hulk doesn't look so good. That was weird. Like, I was keeping my eye on Klungo the entire time. I don't know how I lost him there. Mighty weird. Nasty Baron Bird. You took a hit because you actually suck at this game. No, but seriously, the fact that I got hit during this boss is, uh, kind of not good. That's kind of not indicating good stuff in the future, if I do say so myself. Not good at all. So we got honey. And, uh, in this game, honey actually despawns, so, uh, take that as you may. That's either good or bad. And also, uh, look at this room, because this is the only time in the game that you're gonna see this. Because, uh... After this, you never see this room again. It's, uh, it's just, you never see it. Okay, for some reason in this game, you can't actually press B to, like, zoom out. You have to actually 
press up again, which is weird. Just town shot. Well, I got the egg back at least. So this is basically the main hub area. Well, kind of, I guess. It's the Isle of Hags, Jinjo Village. So this here is a, uh, well, let's see. This is one of my silos. Open up more to create networks of shortcuts. So yeah, this game actually has pretty cool shortcuts. The other game had shortcuts too, but they were like different, I guess. You jumped into the pots and that's that. I just ate a chocolate donut. I, th I thought you said chocolate coconut. I don't know why. I'm out of it today. King Jingling's throne room. We got uh, we got people here, guys. We got a king. How many kings are we going to be attending to? Yo, what's up? <laughs> that's I, I just come to your presence, and you that's the first thing you say to me. Yo, what's up? My people were scared away by those witches and their giant machine. Kind of like it quiet, but I need to get them all back for kickball. So, long story short, this guy wants us to get his Jinjos back because he needs them for a kickball tournament, you know. Not that he's worried about them or anything, he just wants them for the dumb tournament. That's a really nice leader you got there, guys. Really nice. Like coconuts. Yes, I am a coconut. So, Banjo and Kazooie apparently forgot what Jiggies were, which doesn't really make sense. I mean, it's been two years, sure, but it's like, come on, dude. It's like, how do you, how do you forget? I know I have a bad memory, but eh, it's, it's whatever. It looks like he'll uh, Fortnite dance on your dying body. Yeah, pretty much. No, honest, it's all true. He's he's there. Hey, look, guys, it's Toots or whatever that pink thing's name was in Kazooie. But he's bigger, like I said. Like, if you actually look at him, I'm pretty sure he's pretty big. I don't know why. Bottles House. Bottles has a child, Doreen. He has childs. Oh, look, graphical glitch. Nice. So, I'm going to skip the cutscene when we actually uh, do it, but once I skip it, this place is going to turn from gold to gray. And you won't know why if you've never played the game, because I'm going to skip the cutscene. Ha <laughs> ha! So good, right? Let's go and find that Jimmy Wi- Jimmy Wiggy. I thought he said- I thought he said Jimmy Wimmy. Oh well. Meanwhile, skipped. That's that. And suddenly, it's, uh, it has no color, and it's like all dark. I don't know if it was dark before, but if it wasn't, then it is now. And if we go inside, let me actually just show you what's inside. I know why. Yes. Zombified throne room. And, uh, Toot is dead. Like, that, that's not cool. You don't just kill toots. I heard that Minjos look just like us Jinjos. How bizarre. Yes. You can even hit him, which is cool. You can't kill him, but uh, you can hit him and he can hurt you. But uh, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> Let's leave him alone now. Poor guy's already a zombie. Let's just, uh, let's go. And off to Bottle's house. Fortunately, Bottle's house is right outside his throne room, which is very convenient. And in this game, you can also get gold feathers where you get normal feathers. And you get two instead of one, so it's really nice. And I think these actually respawn. Like, if we wait here, I think they respawn. The eggs do, I, I think these do too. I'm not gonna wait though. And get a load of this, guys. Like, the first appearance of other Nintendo characters. Right over here, you see, we got the one and only Donkey Kong over here. Hello, Banjo. I'm Donkey Kong. Goggles. 
Since you and Daddy are such good friends, you can have these. Goggles. You know, I don't know if you could see this in the N64 version. Or, you know, non-emulated, whatever. But, uh, his goggles are blinking, but he's not. I don't think you're actually meant to see his eyes behind the goggles, but it's like... I just realized that his goggles blink and not his eyeballs, so it's kind of freaking me out. So he just gave us, I guess, an ability or something. So now what we can do is we can, uh, we can go left and right and we can zoom in and out. Now we can stare at Donkey Kong if we go over here. Look guys, it's Donkey Kong. How, how good is this? Epic Gamer Moment number one, Donkey Kong. Oh, did not mean to do that. Goodbye. We. Okay, so I believe all we need to do now is just go and talk to this guy. Actually, wait. What do you What do you got to say, Ash? I mean, this is obviously a Pokemon reference. You can't tell me it's not. It Joe, and it I. Ah, you're you're a very random viewer again. Yes, it's it you. So he's talking about kickball, and this guy's the same issue, where his eyeballs aren't actually blinking, but his glasses are. I don't know how that works, maybe moles are like supernatural beings of mass destruction, I have no idea. My dad is the best one on the team. I'm sure he was, or is. <laughs> Did you know that tunnel over there is my secret way out of the village? You might find it useful. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, personal friend. We just met him and he's dead. But it's like, how is this your entrance? If Jiggy, Jiggy guy opened it up, or Jinjo, whatever. Very weird indeed. So here's like, the, the other hub world. I am Jiggy Wiggy and this is my temple. Haha, <laughs> if you want to see me, you'll need to get past my doorman. Supernatural beings of mass destruction, yes. That's what moles are, right? So this is a flying thing, we kill them like that, because that's how you deal with enemies in this game, you kill them. So now we can actually go in this, and we can go to Jinjo Village, but I'm not going to do that. And we can go over here, and there's actually a Jinjo here. First Jinjo in the game. And this guy is pretty big. Okay, so uh, in this game, the Jinjos are actually randomized, so you might not get a green Jinjo your time. Like, you might not get a green one the first one you see. It, it could be like black or brown or yellow, or I, I believe it can anyway. Like, all the Jinjos are just randomized, which I think is kind of cool. I don't know, it's just one of those things, I guess. So we're going back to the greenhouse. You know, they, they had to, like, specifically code this, if you think about it, because the, uh... Since the color is randomized, they had to, like, specifically code it so the camera zooms into, like, each house, right? Like, depending on what color you actually get. So, we can visit the Jinjo now, there's really no point to do it, like, there's no reason to, I mean. So I'm not gonna do it. And when you get all the Jinjos, you get a, uh, you get a Jiggy, that's cool. And over here is, let's see, it is this. I think this, is this a shortcut or is this something else? Let's see. Hmm, okay, yeah, this is here. So, uh, I never understood this shortcut in particular because it's like, you don't need this because there are shortcuts, like there's a thing over there with a shortcut. And this is over here, so it's like, it's like a double shortcut. So it's uh, pretty, pretty weird. And really not useful. I don't think I've seen anyone ever use this, like, legitimately. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I always do that. I don't know why. Like, I'm pressing A too much. So let's go over here and see what's up. Hello. I am a lowly disciple of Jiggy Wiggy. Could this text be any slower? 
Let me just press A and speed it up, I guess. Sounds like fun. Yes, it is. Do you think we are worthy? That depends. To prove yourselves worthy to enter, you must collect images in the form of Jiggy Wiggy himself. You gotta go. Goodbye. Goodbye, Kyle the Frog. See you later. Jigsaw Piece is also known as Jiggies. That sounds familiar. Let's see what you have then. It seems you have collected enough Jiggies to be allowed inside. Remember, no camera is permitted and only food purchased at McJiggies can be eaten within. Nice. The McDonald's equivalent, McJiggies. That sounds like a very nice place to dine. I want to go there now. Could you imagine if someone like just made a thing, like a restaurant called McJiggies, like right now? It's McJiggies inspired by Banjo-Tooie! Perch a golden monolith if you wish to prove yourself worthy. So in this game, to actually get into worlds, you need to do these puzzle challenges, which is more, I guess, interactive, I guess? So basically, you take the puzzle pieces and you just put them in. Now, hopefully this isn't too glitchy. Yeah, look at the puzzle pieces are like glitchy. Oh, for some reason this is like really quick. But uh, I'll see if I can fix the emulation glitches like later. But yeah, like after the stream, I'll see if I can fix the emulation glitches because I think this is the only part that's glitched. But probably not. That was also sped up to like freaking insane degrees. I don't know why. Like the computer like uncapped to the FPS there. It's like, oh, oh, I gotta, I must go fast. Gotta go fast. Behold the power of the mighty Jiggy Wiggy. I am beholding. It's frozen. Oh. Ilo Hags, what did hollow? Is this a Deathly Hollows? Like, what is this? Oh, look. It's where the beam's gonna go. This is interesting. Bam! Just... And then it just opens. It doesn't even, like, blow up. It just opens. You know, it's basically like this guy just flipped a switch. That's probably what he did. You do not have enough jiggies. Jiggy wiggy jiggies. Okay, so the first world is right next to us, which is fortunate that it's just right there, I guess. So we need four jiggies. We need three more jiggies to go to world two, which I'm not going to do that because I want to get as many as I can. I don't think I'm actually going to 100% the game like I did with Kazooie. I don't even remember if I 100%ed the game in my actual Let's Play. I think I did, but I don't remember. So there's actually warp pa uh, warp pads in this game, so pretty nice. So the levels in this game are pretty big, which is why there's warp pads taking you everywhere. And nodes come in bunches of five in this game, and they're pretty much close to each other usually, so it's really nice. Very nice, very nice. Because in Mumbo's Mountain, you know, we had to spend like several minutes trying to find the notes. And in this game, we're about to have like all 100 notes in a span of like two minutes. Not even, right? I already hear a Jinjo. The sun, it's in my eyes, through the wall apparently. That's not how the sun works. You found another warp pad. I don't know why the NPCs like talk so slowly in this game. Like unless you actually press uh, a but like A. Okay, so we got 80. So in each world, I believe there is a single note that's worth 20, and this one is behind the pyramid. Yeah, it's this. So each one has one of these. Nice one, punk. Treble clefts are worth a mighty 20 notes. A mighty 20 notes. So in this game, uh, to get moves, you have to go over here and you have to actually... Well, you're not spending notes, but you need a certain amount of notes to learn moves in this game. Which is cool, I guess. 
I see you've got enough notes. Oh, I don't mean to be pressing B. A game. So now we can actually aim, which is kind of cool. Like, I'm glad that this is the first move. So now we have an aiming sight. Like, we have a reticle, and we can freaking, like, shoot. And it's like, yes. Probably, like, the thing that Banjo Kazooie needed the most, to be honest. And I'm surprised that it wasn't in that game. But reticles, nice. So let's actually go over here first, and let's shoot these. Well, I should be making use of the reticle, right? Yeah, this uh, this analog stick is pretty sensitive, so... Bear with me if I'm not able to... Shoot these first try. Oh, come on. There we go. Uh, it's so sensitive. Oh, that one I hit in the head, but the other one I can't hit from the bottom? Like, what is that? Shenanigans, man, shenanigans. So these things, what you do is you uh, you hit the yellow spot. And you can deactivate them, but you can't actually kill them as a uh, as Banjo. You need to use the other form. And by other form, I mean like the giant golden thing. Okay, so this is a skill stop honeycomb. And I'm not going to touch it. Because you have a chance of like screwing yourself over, which I'm not going to do. But look, we got an orange Jinjo. Let me get on Kazooie. I keep forgetting. One out of two. Okay, so let's... Uh, kill these. I believe the hitboxes on these things... Yeah, the hitboxes is pretty lenient, so... You can be a little bit far away. And hit these things. Amazing! I corn hardly believe it. Haha, <laughs> corn puns. Enough of the crap jokes. Yes, just skip the dialogue because who cares, right? So, there's an empty honeycomb piece up there. And you may be asking yourself, how do we get it? Because we can't actually jump up here because we can't grab ledges. But that's why you're wrong, kiddo. We will be able to grab ledges in like 2.9 seconds, probably. Well, as soon as I... Am I... Okay, I'm not stuck. Thought I was stuck for a second. And uh, there's also a move over here, I believe. Let's see. So, uh, specific moves you can't actually learn with Banjo and Kazooie, which it, it makes no sense. Like, it really doesn't. Like, certain moves you can only have Banjo to learn them. Certain ones you can only have Kazooie. But it's like... Why can't you tell both, right? I mean, they're right here, so it's like, you may as well. That'll be all. So, this isn't really a move. It's more of a game mode change, I guess. And it only affects certain areas. So, you can't do it whenever you want. I don't think. Unless he gave me a different move. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. But let's go get Mumbo. So in this game, instead of Mumbo Tokens, you actually need Globos, which is this. This amazing thing. You've caught a Globo. Okay, so there's a glitch where you can talk to Mumbo down here. But I can- I've never done this before, and I don't know how people do this. I don't think it's a hack, I think it's just a glitch that lets you do this, I don't know. But, uh, yeah, let's go talk to Mumbo in his cheese house, cause this looks like cheese, I don't know why. Like, some of the walls in the house look like cheese. But that's just me. Bear and bird, here at last. Mumbo best shaman. We've got a globo. Globo. Give magic creature. Yes. Yes, I do. So, fortunately, you only need one globo per world. It's not like the mumbo tokens where it went up and up. This one, you just need one. And it's... Uh, the globals in the world, it's just randomly, well not randomly, it's just in the world somewhere, right? So now we're Mumbo, so Mumbo's pretty cool. Mumbo can actually attack, which you don't really do the attacking that much. Like there's really a, not a lot of points in the game where you need to actually attack as Mumbo, which is kind of unfortunate. 
Mumbo does not learn any moves. Like, the, to be honest, I think that would have been cool if Mumbo actually learned moves. Maybe if they ever make like a, if they ever make a sequel, that'll be a thing, but probably not. So Mumbo's main purpose in this game is this: go on the pad, press B, B, boys crack, and you can summon a Golden Goliath. So this specific thing is on a time limit, I believe. And there's multiple things to do. I don't think you can actually do uh, all of them in one sitting. I don't even know if you can get rid of the thing once you have it. Mumbo magic make Golden Goliath rise. Magic only lasts short time. Troll me again, return stature to its base, and press B. So now we, we got a little over a minute to mess around. And the main thing that you want to do with this guy is you want to... Well, you can come over here and you can kick this. Which unleashes a flying pad. Well, uncovers, I guess. You can also come over here and kick this. We can go inside. And there is one Jiggy. I believe there's one Jiggy that we can get. Which is over here, I believe. Uh, yes it is. Okay, nice. So I believe there's ten Jiggies in each world. Like, the same as Banjo-Kazooie. I think it's ten. Probably less, probably more. Well, actually, I don't think it's more than ten. I don't think it would be. So we can come over here, we can kick this. And let's walk back. I don't know if it's required that you had to kick that, or if you can use grenade eggs when you get them, but I think you had to do that. I don't remember. So, uh, let me see. Okay, no we can't. I was gonna say, can we get to the other side and do this in about 7 seconds? But nope, that's not gonna be possible, because I only have like 5 seconds left, and I just got out. So I swear there was a way to revert back to Mumbo from anywhere. Apparently not, let's just kill you. Mumbo magic run out. <coughs> mm. The cuffs. Okay, so let's do this again. Can I skip this? I don't want to have to watch this cutscene every single time. That's not cool, man. Okay, we don't. Nice. I was gonna like set the controller down, but nope. So the funny thing is we don't even do anything else. We just kick this and it's like, that's it. The door doesn't fling open, you just kick that. Then you run inside, right? That's cool. So uh, there's something coming up that I wanna see if I can actually do. I like how it plays like the bad theme, like the bad jingle, like okay. Um, is there anything else as Mumbo? I don't think there is. Uh, no, let's just go. Oh, actually, now that I think about it, there's, uh, there's two Globos in each world, because one of them is for Mumbo, the other one is for Humba, Humba Wumba, whatever her name is. At least I think you need two. Well, there is two, I think. There is, I think, I, I don't even know what's coming out of my face half the time. So, this world's not that big, like, this- you're pretty much looking at the world right now. Besides of, like, what's in those doors, th this is pretty much the world. The other worlds are a lot bigger. This is just the tip of the ice- like, this is- this is everything. The tip of everything. The tip of the iceberg is what I was gonna say. But then I retracted that statement because I was gonna say something else. But I can't think of that something else, so, eh. Because that's my thought process right now. Eh. A bunch of eh. So I believe we've only gotten a couple jiggies. Well, actually, there's another jiggy that I can get on top of the uh, pyramid. I don't think we actually need to fly. Oh, Jinjo. Now, in this game, there's actually fake Jinjos. So, and they're called Minjos, I believe. They look like Jinjo, so you can't really tell them apart. The, uh, the ones that are Minjos are always Minjos, Minjos in the same spot, so you'll always, like, if you memorize a spot, then I guess you're good. But look how fast you dive in this game. Like, it's so good. 
Wait, can you... Uh, let me see. Okay, you just, uh, you just turn really quick in this game. Like, without holding any buttons. It's cool. It's just a default thing now, guys. Whoa! Okay, so, uh, let's fly. Like I said, I don't know if I'm gonna 100% the game, but it's like, I wanna get as much as I know, I guess. Well, as much as I can. I don't know. Well, as much as I can would be, like, all of it, right? <coughs> hmm. <coughs> mm. Still a little sick, it seems. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. But, let me go over here. Oops. Excuse me. I just muted the mic because I'm having like a coughing attack right now. Actually, one second. Let me like drink water. I'll be right back. Okay, I think I'm good. Maybe. So we just got the ability to grab on ledges, like this. I have no idea why that's a move that you learn, and it's not like a default thing, but... You know, it is what it is, I guess. Basically, the summarization of everything. So, the globo for Humba is conveniently behind her tent, so that's cool. So in this game, the transformations are done by this new NPC. I gotta wipe my eyes because that coughing attack is like making my eyes water. <coughs> Sorry if that peaked the mic, I was like kind of close to it. So she's basically saying how Mumbo's an amateur and she is like the best there ever was, like Pokemon. But as soon as I'm done cleaning my glasses, we'll say yes and I'll drink a little bit more water. <clears throat> so uh, fortunately these are only one time things, like you don't need to do this ever again, at least for this world, if that makes any sense. You can also climb these, which is cool. I know that in one world, there's actually a Jinjo up here, so that's uh, pretty cool. So let's go in and see what's up. Let's see what transformation this is. It is... Rock. Rock Dude. Stony. <coughs> what am I call this? Stony. So, the cool thing about this is you can actually attack. Like, you have a method of attacking in this. You did it in Banjo-Kazooie, you had to just avoid everything at all costs. So, it's nice that we actually have a way to defend ourselves. So, the reason why... <clears throat> the reason why you want to take this form is because you can actually talk to these things as this form. Under the strong rocks, you will find many surprises. Or will I? <clears throat> oh, this cough, man. This cough. I have cough drops right here, and I should be like... I should have had one before the stream, but I, I didn't think this, like... This coughing would come back. Okay, so I believe there's nothing up the stairs. Let me actually... Uh, let's just go over here, because there is a... <clears throat> there's a thing that we can get. Which is over here. 
And you need to be this form to actually get it, because the hole is not that big. I like how this is just a little area, like, there's like these sides, I don't know why, like, there's something about this, like, amuses me. You could like, totally sleep back here or something. Cool little hiding spot. <coughs> so, the other, uh, reason for being this form is you can actually play kickball, which is cool. Unfortunately, this thing doesn't really move that quick, so you gotta, like, you gotta waddle everywhere. <clears throat> At least you can jump somewhat. I mean, you are made out of stone, so it kind of makes sense that you can't jump that much. But, uh, yeah. Well, you can die, because, yes. I hear Jinjo. I'm Banjo the Stony. Can I come in and play? Ooga Booga. Yes. Leroy, Ooga Booga. That backpack looks kind of familiar. Are you saying we're a bear and a bird in an elaborate disguise, trying to cheat our way in? Dude, the writing in this game is like, the best. But it also doesn't make sense, because it's like, I never met you. You know, like, it's assuming that we talked to this guy before, which is like, the funny thing. Because, I didn't, so it's a weird interaction. So fortunately, there's, uh, there's this, so we can do that. One second. Oh, uh, these these like coughing episodes, guys. It's, it's got to happen while I'm streaming. It it has to, you know. So, uh, this is actually a shortcut to another world. Like, this connects to, like, World 6 or something. It's like the Lava Land. Le uh, what's it called? Hellfire Peaks. So, kickball. <clears throat> Welcome to the Mayan Amateur Kickball Championship. You may enter the quarterfinals. But I'd advise you to take a little training downstairs first. Do we... Do we need training? Let's go do it. Let's go... And heed the master's advice. This is the training area, is it? You may consult any of the washed up player coaches for advice. So how does this work? How do we kick? Is it, uh, let's see. Okay, you first need a kick. And that's all you need to know, I think. So in World 6, which is where this goes to, I'm pretty sure it's... I don't know if World 6 is Hailfire Peaks, but it's ha Hailfire Peaks is where that goes. But, uh, there's another kickball game in that area that we gotta do. So that's kind of cool that you can, you know, that there's multiple. Quarterfinals. Hey, Wok. Whack, Wok. Whack, Whack. I think his name is Whack. I don't know. May the best stony win. Let's do this. So you want to kick it into your own goal, if that wasn't obvious. And, oh, did not mean to do that. So these guys are pretty slow, like, during the first part. You can actually steal it, which is nice. You can't, oh, he stole it from me. So when I first played this, I tried to, like, kick it into their gold. I don't know why, like, I thought that was what you had to do. But it's like, now that I look back at it, it's like, really, it makes sense that that's not what you meant to do. But I don't know why. I just thought that's what you had to do. I also didn't know that you could kick the ball. So I was trying to like charge it. Like I had to walk in every single time. So we win. By six points. Nice. Nice. You've won your quarterfinal. Move on to the semifinals. Let's go. So, nothing really, well, I mean, I, I would say nothing really changes, but it kind of changes a little bit. The AI gets a little better, I guess, and there's, like, different things. You'll see it. Those shorts look stupid. I mean, you're not wrong. May the best stony win! Okay, now there's these red balls, which, uh, these ones you want to shoot into your player, like your enemies, I mean. 
because they actually uh, deduct a point, I'm pretty sure anyway. So getting them down by one point is all you need because if you can do that, then it just messes it up. Like it messes it up for them. Those guys are kicking it back and forth. Oh, sniped. Okay, I'm looking for the balls. So fortunately, they seem to be spawning next to me. So uh, that's cool. Uh, no. Okay, actually, we're winning. We got this. Just spin in the corner, cause that's uh, that's all I'm good for, right? <clears throat> You've won your semi-final. The man kickball well, final beckons. It does. It beckons indeed. Let's do it. I believe there's bombs in this one, I think, anyway. Either that or the AI just gets improved. You've no chance of becoming champion. That's what you think. Okay, yeah, there are bombs. Okay, ninja focus mode here, guys, because that's definitely what I need, right? I didn't even make that. Yeah, I could imagine how much harder this must have been when I uh, when I was trying to like walk to the goal. Dude, these guys are like having the time of their lives. Hey, thanks for shooting that towards me, dude. The purple guy doesn't even have a single point. Or now he does. Oh, I didn't hit him. Oh, good. We almost actually lost. I was looking at the score. I'm like, dude, that guy's ahead of me by one point. Now I'm ahead of him. Well, I was. Until I won. I declared you the new man. Mayan. Mayan. Mayan kickball. I'm too choked for words. Let's go. Okay, so uh, let's actually. Hmm. I guess we'll transform back. There's really no reason to stay as this. Because actually, there's like one other thing, but I kind of want to brute force it because I'm not gonna remember anyway. And I'm pretty sure the password is the same every single time. I think anyway. I say pretty sure, then I say think. Like I don't know anymore. Everything is so... it's such a blur. This Wumba magic not need Globo next time. Nice. <clears throat> so there was a empty honeycomb piece, which is good. So in this game, the amount of honeycomb pieces you need is actually increased by a couple each time. If that makes any sense. So right now, we only need one empty honeycomb piece, and then it's like, we need, I think, four, and then it just keeps going up. So, I think you have the same, the same amount of health in the as opposed to the last game. Well, as opposed, you know, you know what I mean. Oh. So let's get the ginger that's over here. Yeah, see, in this game, you can actually move while you're doing the beak bomb, which is cool. And you can also hold B. Oh, we got both the Jinjos. Two orange Jinjos, which means a Jiggy. Jiggy Wiggy. Can I skip this cutscene? No, that's too bad. So, I like how there's like, there's a great Jinjo house, but it's like destroyed. I wonder if they were originally going to have like a gray Jinjo, but they stopped, like they didn't do it. So they just said, dude, we're just going to scrap this. How do we make it look like this is in, but it's not? Let's just do that, I guess. I don't know. Nothing that I said was coherence, but we'll go with it. Okay, so there's also, well, I got the Jiggy up there, right? I'm pretty sure I did. Let me, let me make sure. I'm pretty sure I got it. For some reason, I'm not remembering. Okay. <clears throat> so let's go over here. Oh, jeez. 
Did not want to do that. Oh, we can't actually do this yet. Never mind. Because we didn't uh, open the bottom. Doing this all out of order, guys. D -d don't mean to do that. The treasure chamber. What's up with you? Everything. It's terrible. I can't find Target Zan's favorite priceless relic thingy. Sounds about right. What animal are you even supposed to be? You're like a pink uh, dog, I think. I think it's like a pit bull. I don't know what it is. A jiggy? Well, in that case, yes, give me. I'll open the other door for you, but please hurry. Please hurry. Hurry, master. Do it. Okay, see, now it's opened. <clears throat> I don't believe it's on a timer, so we have as much time as we need. That's a, that's a nice screen. So, uh, let's actually scale this. Or can we not? I think you scale one of these, right? Hey, empty honeycomb piece. <coughs> mm. So, uh, okay, yeah. Okay. So you can't attack as Kazooie. Well, with Kazooie, I mean, while you're grabbing on edges, which is cool. And I don't remember what this actually does. I'm pretty sure this is needed for something. <clears throat> Just, uh, just make sure not to get hit by these things. Anytime you see something coming out of the wall like these yellow things, it's usually an enemy. So, this actually goes to another world. This goes to, like, Pterodactyl Land, but it's like... Like, I like how this game does things, so you, you don't even need to ground pound it, okay. Because, like... You go in here, right? And suddenly... We're just in Pterodactyl land. Unga bunga. Unga bunga. Ooga booga. So, beyond that gate is Pterodactyl land, but obviously it's closed up because we're not even in that world yet. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Oh, this is gonna be so bad. Tell me, like, this isn't too fast, right? Uh, this is so long. I'm trying... Oh, I can't move my thumb. I'm trying not to move my thumb at all. You can't actually jump. Like, while you're on the red carpet, or whatever it is, you can't actually jump. You have to tiptoe. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I kind of learned that the hard way one day. So here's the priceless relic thingy, which is just, uh, this. Which is cool. I seem to recall Kazooie actually holding this, not Banjo. That's just a memory thing, I guess. Me and my stupid memory, I guess. So what happens if we were to like actually step on that now? I don't even want to do that. Okay, where's the... here it is. <clears throat> I like how this is yellow. It's to symbolize the treasure chamber, right? It's gold. Okay, this is funny. Watch this. You can, uh... It doesn't matter if you do this, because the cutscene just stops you from... Oh. Well, I didn't fall in the middle. That's stupid. Oh man. I was gonna say the cutscene doesn't... Like, it allows you not to take damage. But here I am, not even falling into the cutscene trigger. Like, first the Klungo fight, and then this. Like, I'm having such a bad day. Such a bad gaming experience. I'm not a true gamer, guys. I'm sorry. Jiggy. The game's frozen now. What's up? Oh. Unga bunga. Pebble gone. That's a pebble. Big beatings. Well, who's beating you? I have no idea. Hmm. Okay, so we got that. Let's go. Actually, wait. The Jiggy is over here. Yeah. So in this game, there's no dance for getting a Jiggy, which is pretty nice. You just get the Jiggy, and then you leave. So that's cool. 
So what else do we want to do? I tried to think. Well, actually, there is this one thing that I was thinking of. I believe it's in here. Now, this is the thing that you're supposed to... You're supposed to come in here as a stony and get a combination and remember it. But, uh... So, this guy gives you a combination. I think it's him. And what you do is, uh... Well, get this. But you come over here and you enter the combination. Now, I don't know what it is. There's only three things. So, it's like, it's gotta be something, right? I seem to remember, you gotta press one of the switches two times, I think. So let's see, uh, what would it be? Can you go away? Hmm. So let me see, star, I want to say star, sun, moon, and then star or something? Or is it moon, moon? I think star is one that you press twice. If I can't get it, I'll look up the combination, like, later, I guess. Star. St I don't even know how many, like, uh, buttons this is. Let's do this. Star. Or that. Well, I guess they're both stars, right? And then star. I, like, is this randomized? I don't think it is. I, I remember getting it by trial and error last time. That's pretty much how I've done it, because I... I didn't even know that there was a combination, like, that the guy gave it to you. I thought you had to just guess it for some reason. So here's another free, easy jiggy that we can just get. <clears throat> is there a fall damage with this? I don't remember. I don't think there is. So in this game, look how, look how quick you do this. Watch this. It's so quick. Like, they're learning. Rareware is learning. It's so nice. Like, there's so many improvements from this game to, like... Well, from to Kazooie from this game, I guess. These 2D trees, though. So, there's also a segment over here which I don't think we can actually do. Because we need, like, a different power-up. Well, a move, I guess, but we don't actually have it. So let's get out. I'll, I'll look up the combination next time, I guess. I don't feel like going to a stony and doing all that. I hope the combination is the same for everyone. I think it is. But if it's not, that's kind of eh, I guess. So how many do we have? Like, how much of what do we have? View totals. Uh, 6 out of 10. Hmm. So, uh, in this game, you actually can't get every single J once, like, in the first attempt, I guess. Well, first run through, I guess. Because in Kazooie, you can. In this game, you can't do that. So, we can do this, actually, now that I think about it. So, let's do this. I think this counts for two of the Jiggies, so that's good. And then the combination thing is, uh, that's another Jiggy. Hmm. Trying to think. Okay, so strafing is done by doing uh, using the C buttons. And knowing to strafe, like knowing that you can strafe and how to strafe is like really good for this. Because if you can't strafe, then you're going to have a really hard time against the boss. Good, I see you've mastered the art of bird handling. I now challenge you to collect the sacred statues and find your prize. Let's go. For some reason, I thought you couldn't do this yet. Which is why I kind of was putting it off. So, there's no timer for this, fortunately. It's just, uh... Uh, it's just doing this. I think there's 50. Think th I also think there's a Jinjo in here. Like, maybe one or two. Okay, these are doors. You might not even see these, but they are. They are doors. Now, I'm gonna get lost in here so much, because it's so easy to get lost in this. So, in the second world, you actually learn an ability that lets you attack without using eggs in this, which I don't know why you can't do that normally. You know, you can kind of do that when you're not doing this, but sure, whatever. Okay, so let me... Oh, this is not going to work. Okay, there we go. Oh, well, I fell anyway. 
Yeah, look how quick you can shoot, though. Like, you can shoot really quick in this. Like, it's really weird. But there's egg stocks here, so it doesn't even matter. Because you just get, like... See, eggs are so much better in this game. That's why, like, I don't care to use eggs in this game. Because, well, I don't care to spam them, I mean. Because you get them so frequently. That you just don't even care anymore. Oh, look. Not bad, mortal. Ten statues gains you entry to my slightly sacred chamber. Only slightly, though. I... I think it's 20 then. It has to be 20. Was I saying 50? Yeah, it, it's not 50. It can't be 50. Are you gonna drop honey? No, you're not. Okay, egg your stock. Statue. I hear Jinjo. Okay, the Jinjo's in this room somewhere. And there's a... Wait, what is this? I hear the Jinjo. I don't know where it is, but I hear him. Okay, now this thing is like infinite eggs for, I believe it's like, the certain amount of seconds. Can I shoot this? Oh, I can't. There we go. <laughs> so yeah, this is just infinite eggs for a, a, a minute, so that's cool. So basically, just hold down the fire button, that's all you need to do. Well, when you find self. Okay, like the, sa the, the slightly sacred chamber, which is the exact same room as the normal chamber. Which is interesting. Jiggy. You got nine jiggies, but not the ninth jiggy in this world. Because, uh... In this game, it's kind of confusing. But in this game, all the jiggies count as... Like, one, I guess? Like... You go from each world to each world, I guess. Like, from world to world, and... The, I don't know. Like, oh, there's a thing. But yeah, all the Jinjos count towards like one pile if that makes any sense you have to actually go into the uh, set it or yeah settings whatever and actually look at it okay where is the thing i believe there's a door over here that takes you to the jinjo like here or something like that in the corner no it's got to be here somewhere i know there's a door here i'm pretty sure anyway or am i thinking of a totally separate area I might be thinking of a totally separate area, actually. Wait, is it 20? Let me see. Okay, it's only 20, so there's more than 20. 20 statues gains you entry to my really sacred chamber. But is there a really, really sacred chamber? Probably not. Hello. <clears throat> Wait, what? Oh. I pressed A and I just heard a door. Okay, so is there not a door over here? Like... Yeah, okay, it's there. So there's a door on this side then, right? I know there's a door here. Okay, yeah, here it is. Yeah, I was looking at the wrong spot. Silly me. Jinjo. One out of three. Okay. So now it's boss time. Well, it's about to be boss time. You can actually hold the button to uh, <clears throat> shoot eggs, so that's cool. Or you can just tap it and shoot like really quick, because this is a slightly sacred or sacred chamber. Oh, it's the more sacred chamber. Look, Banjo, there is another Jiggy. This is just too easy. Fourth wall breaking coming. We'll have the game finished in no time. Ho ho! We're in a video game? What? <clears throat> oh no. Halt, mortal. <laughs> Thought you'd get another Jiggy that easily. Well, yes. Dizzy Totem God. Yeah, sounds about right. I am Target Zan, mighty mine guard of target shooting. P prepare to meet thy dart ridden doom. Sounds about right, too. Okay, so you don't actually need to aim in this, I don't think, anyway. The things are going back. Okay, that was just a visual glitch, I guess. Emulation is hard, if you if you weren't aware. Where are you? Wait, where is it? Oh, like, where is he? So these things drop honey in case you get hit, like that. That was just a demonstration. 
Not really. Yeah, strafing is such a godsend. Like, if you don't know how to strafe, you're going, you're going to suffer. Like, it's so bad. Because the first time I did this, I didn't even know that strafing was a thing, like, in this game. And it's, like, so simple, too. Like, you just press it once, and that's all you really need. This sounds like Donkey Kong 64 music. I don't know why. Like, it sounds like something that I would hear there. I mean, the game... Those games are both made by Rare, so I mean, it makes sense. I mean, look how easy this is now, because it's, like, strafing. He's dead, guys. Well, he's about to be dead. Oh, my. The sensitivity! And for some reason, the game is actually lagging. This stick is, like, so sensitive. I didn't realize how sensitive it was. No, you've beaten me. Now suffer as I invoke my sacred self-destruct. Well, it's good that you have these platform or barriers that prevent that. Now, uh, is it? That's uh, convenient. I, I did not say that at all as what I meant to say that, but uh, eh, or how I meant to say it, whatever. I can't speak. It's like I'm dying because it's like so hot in here. I can't think straight. And I've been doing this for like an hour because that's totally a long time. So now, as if it wasn't bad enough, we gotta find our way out of here, because that's fun. Hmm. Where is the way out? Well, actually, I, I mean, I guess I could, like, like, freaking save and quit, but it's like, no, don't want to do that. That's just looping, isn't it? I believe it is. I think the right way is over here, right? Okay, yeah, it is. And let's just get our eggs back because that's how easy it is in this game. It's so good. Like, if this was Banjo-Kazooie, I don't even know what, then you wouldn't be doing this because you would just constantly be losing eggs. That's all I can tell you. That's all that would happen, actually. Okay, um, which way do we want to go? I think we want to go another direction, right? Or is it this way? There's a thing behind me. Okay, he just went to... He just, like, despawned, okay. Um, is this where it is? I believe so. Uh, here we go. This is the way, right? I think it is. Yes, it is. Yay! Let's just refill our eggs. Just get the last uh, nine, I guess. Oh, okay, so we're done with that. So, how, like, what do we have with this world? Like, how much are we in? Uh, we need two more, so... One of those is from the thing that I was just... Okay, actually, we can't do this yet. We actually need to get an ability from World 2, and then we can do it. So, let's go! I guess, uh, actually, I'll open World 2, then I'll, I'll stop the stream there, because... Like I said, I didn't plan this stream to be too, too long. Like, an hour is fine for me. At least right now, because I actually gotta do stuff in, like, 30 minutes. <clears throat> So, emulation in this game doesn't really go hand in hand, it seems, and I knew I said there was a reason why I didn't I didn't want to emulate this game, and this seems to be the reason. Like, it's fine, it, normally, like, see, like, there's no issues or anything, it's just this segment. So hopefully I can do this, and it's not, like, a mess. Let's see. Let's see how broken this is, guys. Yeah, look how quick it is. I mean, it's not that bad. The only thing is, like, there's dots. If this thing wasn't so sensitive. Uh, 
Okay, there we go. I I'm, like, I see, like, those black, like, the black puzzle, like, the black hole in the side, and it's like, oh, it's more puzzle pieces, but it's like, nope, it's just the emulator, the emu- I was gonna say emulation, but I said emulator, weirdly, but it's, like, glitching. Just like me. So, yeah, these puzzles aren't the hardest thing, but it's, like, they get a lot harder, well, I I don't know if I would say a lot harder. There's more pieces that are missing, I guess. Like, that aren't correct. And uh, stuff. <laughs> Ilo Higgs, Plateau. Nice. I already hear Jinjo. So, World 2, guys, which is a mine. Glitter Gulch mine, to be exact. And, the, dude, the worlds in this game are so cool. Like, I really do like the worlds in this game. They're bigger, too. Like, the worlds are just a lot bigger, I think. Well, actually, is... I don't remember if... Uh, is Glitter Gulch Mine bigger or smaller than Treasure Trove Cove? I think it's actually bigger. Or maybe the same size. So we can actually do the... Mm, let's do it, I guess. I mean, while I'm here, you know, may as well. Didn't even realize that I had enough jiggies. There's only 90 Jiggies in the game, so it makes sense that I can already do the next one, right? So this is... Grunty... thing, place. Oh. Oh. Wait, what? Is this not... No, this is over here. It's this, yeah. Stupid emulator is, like, being weird. Like, I can't actually see it. Well, that's not the one that I meant to pick up. See, like this, like th this is uh, there's puzzles there, but the emu the emulator is making it look weird. Go up, I said up. There we go. Yeah, you can also look at the the picture because fortunately these pictures are like moving, so you can actually use that as like a guide, I guess. You have completed Jiggy Wiggy's challenge three, so now the great one will show you the way. Will he? Yeah, that segment's, like, also really quick. It's weird. It's like the emulator, like, uncaps the FPS. Like, just for that segment alone. It's really odd. I don't know why it does that. Behold the power of something. The power of my beam cannon. Special beam cannon. I love Hags. Hey, guys, look. It's the silo for uh grenade eggs hmm i wonder because uh you basically learn fire eggs and grenade eggs at the same time or you can anyway so i can go like i can get grenade and uh fire eggs right now if i wanted to i guess i'll do that there's really no reason not to So how many jiggies do we need? Let's see. We need uh, four more jiggies. Okay. So for the next area, we got to go over here. Yeah, I know. Really, like, really hard at, like places to find, right? I say that, but I think I actually had trouble finding the next area. Like on my first playthrough. I don't know. So, there's actually a glitch to get this Jinjo. Like, that's in the rock up here, and I want to see if I can do it. Here's the, uh, here's a shortcut, by the way. And there's actually notes in Isle of Hag, so that's cool, I guess. So, there's a lot of stuff we can do now that we're here. There's, uh, for one, there's switch pads here, which we can't use. Oh, we can poop eggs, that's another thing. But, uh, we can get life extensions, and there's a thing over here. This, I remember this because I always tell myself that I'm going to forget this, but there's an empty honeycomb piece right here. And now that we have three, I believe we can get two life extensions, actually. I think. Or maybe one. Honeybees Hive. Nice. Nice. Hi there, big bear. I'm Honeybee, mistress of the honey. Nice. Why couldn't you be mistress of the jiggies? 
because that would have made your quest too easy. Dude, there's like so many like fourth wall breaks and stuff. Well, it's not really a fourth wall break at all, but it's like, eh. You have enough honeycombs for one extra energy unit. Oh, there's only one? Oh, I didn't mean to hang on to a mosquito woman. But they're no use to you. So I guess we need, uh, let's see. Thought we could get two actually, <clears throat> but apparently not. So now we get one extra unit of honey. Yeah, we need one more honeycomb piece. So it does go up. Like it goes up by what? Like well, not one. It goes up by multiple depending on how many you've turned in. So that's how you get your life in this game. Okay, so before I stop the stream, let's actually go learn grenade and fire eggs, or fire and grenade eggs. Fire eggs! So, you can hold 50 fire eggs, and I believe you can only hold 25 grenade eggs, like, it's not always 100 eggs, so it, it's uh, more of a balancing thing, I guess. So, to change your eggs, you press Z, or, no, no, you press L, that's what you do, yeah. So now we have fire eggs, which is, uh, seems heartburn inducing, but I guess whatever, right? So let me, let me see this. Can, can you get this by just, uh, doing this? Apparently you can. Unless they somehow fix this, which I don't know if they did. I don't even know if there's, like, patches to this game, but you can, like... Do this and get it. Maybe you have to be on this side. I don't know. I mean, I don't even know why I'm trying to do this. I don't need to, like, be doing all these glitches, but, I mean, they're fun to do. Probably actually doing this completely wrong. Because I think this extends your hitbox if you do this. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So, okay, we got that. And there is a thing. Oh, enemies. You're dead. And we can actually light these guys on fire. Whoa, that's cool. He's on fire. Haha. -ha. Okay, do that. And we're just going to quickly learn some grenade eggs. Not going to go to World 3 yet because obviously we haven't even been to World 2. Which I'm not doing these worlds in order. Like, I'm not necessarily doing them in order. I just... You know, I don't know. Just want to do World 2 first. You know, go go in order. I, I don't know. Stuff. So there's hum, uh, Wumba. Uh, Humba? I, I don't know. <laughs> okay, notes. We got 130. Ooh, not mean to do that. So we just got enough for this. Grenade eggs. Grenade eggs. For blasting things, these eggs are made. Don't stand close when you fire a grenade. That doesn't rhyme, or does it? No, I, what did you just say like before that sentence? I have no idea. So now we got grenades. So it's like, that's cool. So yeah, I'm gonna stop the stream here. So it's like, sorry for like the whole coughing episodes and whatever happened in, during the stream. But uh, I might resume this tomorrow. I may not. Only time will tell. It depends on if I'm doing anything during that time, right? So, uh, see you guys later, and goodbye.